Swinburne University of Technology. Thanks, Darren, and uh, welcome everybody to, um, I guess you can call it, uh, Swinburne's first e-research symposium. Um, you know, uh, I was just thinking this morning how far we've, we've gone in research. Uh, when I was, you know, I uh, got really excited when I filled up this little mini computer with 64 kilobytes of memory and, um, and what we could do with that. Um, but now, of course, we're just faced with this immense dilemma of terabytes and petabytes and exabytes of data. And the fact that we can collect so much data and store it digitally, does that, you know, how does that really influence what we, what we can really do in, in our research? Because quantity is not always uh, the driver for, for, for better quality or better research outcomes and research impact. So it's great that we've got so many people gathered together from right across the university to talk about you know, the, the, the issues around data collection, data visualization, data analysis, data storage, data sharing, data transport. And all those issues just get a bit more complex as we go up in size. So, you know, just even thinking about some of the, the sort of trends around the world, you know, we'll do everything in the cloud. Well, that's fine, but if you want to transfer a petabyte of data to the cloud to do some analysis, it's, uh, it's not a trivial thing, and maybe six months later, you may have it up in the cloud, so you can, or some really fancy computer, and some, do some analysis, and it's really fast. But it's going to be six months to get the next load of data up. So just the fact that we solve some of the problems, or think some of the problems can be solved elsewhere, means we, we're given other issues to deal with. So this, this whole field is given the name of e-research, and, you know, over through the various acronym SOUP that got, has been created around e-research. I don't know if that's to confuse the uninitiated, but some, we have today some of the representatives from that acronym SOUP with us. Organisations such as Nectar, RDSI or Vicnode and um, ANS, all these sort of national or local initiatives that are trying to help us what we're trying to do today is to see, one, how we can help each other. But I'm sure we'll also learn and think about how we can use those national networks and infrastructure to help us achieve things. As Darren said, this is a bottom-up initiative. We as a university want to help, but we're not exactly sure is it best for us to be directive, create structures, or respond to what people want to do. We've chosen, at the moment, that last one. So we're really looking forward to seeing what ideas might come out of people getting together. And just you know, over the last few months, it's been, it's been great to see parts of the university starting to work with other parts of the university, recognising, hey, I want to visualise data. Well, those people over there, they're visualising data. Their data may be around internet traffic flow. My data may be around social networks. But why? We can actually learn from each other and help each other. And across the university, there's a, a number of initiatives from the formal sense around general information technology governance in the committee, uh, in the university. We have a research technology forum. And that's been a sort of a starting place for some of the, the discussions about the issues people face and how we might better understand and resolve some of those issues. And you, know, you could say that this meeting today is really an outcome of discussions that have happened recently at the Research Technology Forum. That's a, a formal thing. There are other formal things. And I uh, just checked the website this morning under managing research data. And, and there, there's an immense amount of information, including a great document, I think, if you're ever interested in these things, uh, guidelines for dealing with and managing research data. Now, part of that's there because under the Australian Code for the um, Responsible Conduct of Research. I hope I got the name right. <laughs> um, we have to have university guidelines and procedures and processes managing storage, access to what we say about research data. And so those guidelines are there for that purpose, but they're also on, in there and on the web page. There's lots of information about systems that exist to help you store data, share data, we hope even to analyse data. 
So that's the formal parts, and those things are evolving and, and getting better, but it's the informal thing which I'm really looking forward to hearing from the, the outcomes today. So you can just see the growth in the Institute of Social Research. We have a digital methods working group sort of developing there. And today, the breadth of things on the program, we have people from law, from sociology, from computer science, from astronomy, from health, all interested in how we deal with research, uh, data intensity of research. It's almost like there is nothing else <laughs> but data intensity of research. The nature of research is is going to be data intensive. And as we perhaps place more analysis on, or more emphasis on how we can better use the data which is acquired elsewhere or by others or even by us and shared elsewhere so that as a research community, what defines us is not necessarily who created the data or who collected the data, but how we analyze and interpret the data you can see why the discussion today is so important. So thanks everybody for coming. Thanks especially for those who have come to us from external organisations. You know, over the years we've been part here in Victoria of organisations such as the, the Victorian Partnership for Advanced Computing, Versi, which was the Victorian e-research strategic initiative. And even though we are no longer parts of those organisations, we're working with some of the other things that have happened, including a spin-out of VPAC, as it was called, called VPAC Innovations. And I think some of those people are, are with us today too. So it's great to have everybody here. Thanks especially to Anna and Darren for organising it and for others who have helped have a, a great day digging into data and discussing how we can do better in sharing it. To quote Leon Sterling, e-research is just research. just wanted to say a couple of things. Uh, thank you, George, for that um, welcome. Um, I'm glad you're as excited as we are. And I just wanted to thank Matthew and George for supporting this event. Um, like George said, this is something that just kind of happened somewhat informally and has sort of turned into something a little bit bigger than we expected. Um, and I just wanted to also quickly thank, before we start, Ryan Went, who is our manager for research information systems. So Ryan's done a lot of the organizing for this event as well. Um, and both George and Ryan have kindly catered the event, so we'll be having lunch um, and provided the keep cups for everyone. So. Thank you. This has been a Swinburne production.